Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I'm going to be taking you step-by-step -step how to create a certificate at the end of your Wix online course. This is a part of my Wix online course series here on YouTube where I'm taking you through every step of the process, how to create your course, and also how to create a sales funnel to promote and sell your online course. So let's get started. All right, so when it comes to wanting to add a certificate, we're gonna go over to online programs from your dashboard. And right now this is, as I said, reduced functionality because it is just a new feature that Wix has right now. So watch for an updated video. But here we're going to go over to where it says program settings, click edit, scroll down to rewards. You can see it has new feature listed here. And what we can do here is create a certificate. Now Wix, now as I said, just has a few options but I'm excited for the day when this becomes a little bit more customizable. These two are kind of boring, but it's better than nothing, right? And it's exciting to see them move in this particular direction. I'm so excited for this. So here we've got templates. Choose whichever one you want. I personally like this one because it just seems a little bit more like, I don't know, not standard. But whatever, whatever you like. Let's go ahead and just edit this one for fun. So here we can click edit text. You can customize your date and your site name. So if I just said the Wix Collective. And then we go back to design. I could change my um, font here. Obviously you're not going to have any of your uploaded fonts. That one's kind of cool. So you're just going to have to determine which one fits your brand most closely. So we'll just go with that. And then you can change your color, your style, and your size. So if I wanted it larger, which I think I would, I would put that there. Back to text. Change your title, certificate of completion. That's fine. Change your design here. Underline, bold, whatever you want and then subtitles, the certificate is awarded to, person's name for completing the online program, back to text, participant name, you can't change their name obviously, but you can change the design. So let's say I like, I wanted to make it a little bit more like written out looking. I don't know, again, we only have a few options to choose from as far as fonts, so it's kind of hard to, I don't know, settle on one because I don't really love really any of them, <laughs> but that's okay. So let's change the color to maybe something that matches my brand colors more. I could go grab my exact color, but I don't have that right now. And okay, then we're going to go back and we're going to change program name. Obviously it's photo editing 101. I can change the design of that here. The paragraph, we can adjust that as well. And then we've got signatures. So customize the person's name here. Let's just say Emily Thomas. Oh, I guess I could be the president. How fancy. And then I don't have anybody else. <laughs> so we're just going to take that off there. And then you can select design, change the size, font, style, color again. All right, and then we'll do decorations. This right here has like a little seal emblem. We could do more of a rainbowy one, certified, certified. Again, there's just several different options. There's some like cute, funky ones, but again, we can't add our own, which is again, a little bit of a bummer. So I don't know, I kind of like this one. All of them look a little out of place. If I'm completely honest with you, they look like a random edition of a clip art. Then you can change your logo here. So in this particular site, I don't really have any logos uploaded. So I'm just gonna search for one in Wix. Oh, I don't know if it'll let me, because it's searching for a photo. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have any, so I'm gonna select this random PNG that I have as my logo. <laughs> and then signatures here. I can upload my signature. Again, you'd have to upload that as a PNG file and how you would do that is you could write it out, take a picture of it, put it in Canva, remove the background, or if you have like something like um, Adobe Illustrator, you could write your own, or you could just type it out in 
you know, Word or something and screenshot it with a font that you like and then upload it there. And then again, we've got the underlines. Do you want them to be dotted? I love dotted underlines. I don't know why. I just think they look light. I don't know. Um, but I think, you know, that would be obviously the most official. So it's up to you. But that is how you set up the template. Now I'll just click save. And it really is just that simple. So, you know, it's kind of annoying that we don't have a lot to choose from there, but I will say it's nice that Wix has the option and it's also very nice that they do have some sort of structure to stick to because a lot of times the more creative, the more creative you can be, sometimes the worse it looks. <laughs> it just depends. So there's more to go wrong when you have lots of variables. So, okay, that is how you do a certificate of completion. Okay, I hope that was helpful. It's pretty short and sweet to the point. I hope that Wix does some updating to this new feature soon so that I can share with you something a little bit more fancy in the future and hope that I can also add some more fancy certificate of completions at the end of my courses too. So thank you so much for being here. If you have more questions or if you're looking for someone to help you build your course, I'm happy to help you. I do offer right now, I am working with creating some websites for people that might be an entire website or just an online course. I'm doing both of those things right now. I would love to get you on my schedule if you need some help. Also, check my website. I have the link below. I am doing some one-on-one -on -one consulting, so possibly we can just meet up over Zoom. I can answer your questions and help point you in the right direction. And then, as you may have heard from my other videos, I am considering the idea of having like a Wix online support group. So that might be something where we would meet maybe like once a month or once a week or every two weeks over Zoom and we can just rapid fire. I can answer your questions. You can share your screen with me. Show me what you're struggling with in Wix or what questions you have and I'll just get those answered and we can do it as a group so that we can just kind of glean from each other's problems and you know the responses that I have. Uh, and just kind of brainstorm and work through things together. So if you're interested in that, I really, I'm not sure if I'm going to have this. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this a uh, support group because I'm, I'm not sure what y'all need. So comment below or even better yet, I have a link to a wait list. If you just follow that link and join the wait list, then I know who to alert when I do make this public or available to people. So thanks again for being here and happy website building.